Hi, first graders. So today we're going to read a book that I think you're going to love. It's called Kitten's First Full Moon, and it's written and illustrated by Kevin Hankies, one of our favorite authors in first grade. And as I'm reading this book to you, I want you to think about why Kitten couldn't get the first bowl of milk that she saw. So think about that as I'm reading the book to you. Why Kitten couldn't get the first bowl of milk that she saw. And then we'll think about that more at the end of the book. So Kitten's First Full Moon by Kevin Hankies. It was Kitten's first full moon. When she saw it, she thought, there's a little bowl of milk in the sky, and she wanted it. So she closed her eyes and stretched her neck and opened her mouth and licked. But Kitten only ended up with a bug on her tongue Poor kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk, just waiting. So she pulled herself together and wiggled her bottom and sprang from the top step of the porch. But Kitten only tumbled, bumping her nose and banging her ear and pinching her tail. Poor Kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk, just waiting. So, I want to stop right here and I want you to think about Think about two questions. Who is the main character in this book? And how would you describe that main character? So who is the main character in this book? And how would you describe that character? So pause the video and you can either think about that to yourself or you can turn and talk to a family member. So I'm thinking the main character is Kitten because Kitten is in most of part most of the parts of the book. She's on almost every page. And I'm thinking Kitten is very brave and curious and she seems very adventurous. So that's how I would describe Kitten. Okay, let's get back to the book. So she chased it down the sidewalk, through the garden, past the field, and by the pond. But Kitten never seemed to get closer. Poor Kitten. So there she is going down the sidewalk, and she's going through the garden, and here she is by the field, and here she is by the pond. And you can see the pond a little bit right there in the picture. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she ran to the tallest tree she could find and she climbed and climbed and climbed to the very top. But Kitten still couldn't reach the bowl of milk and now she was scared. Poor kitten, what could she do? Then in the pond, kitten saw another bowl of milk and it was bigger. What a night. So let's stop here again. And this time let's think about the setting of a story. 
So remember, setting is where the story took place and when. So the place and the time. So I want you to pause the video here and either think to yourself or turn and talk to a family member. Where did the story take place and when did it take place? Okay, let's come back together. So I'm thinking the story takes place outside. And some of the places outside were in the garden, on the porch, in the fields, and right here in this picture by the pond. And when I think about the time, I'm thinking it takes place at night. So it takes place outside, different places outside, and it takes place at night. Okay, let's keep reading. So she raced down the tree and raced through the grass and raced to the edge of the pond. She leapt with all her might. Poor kitten. She was wet and sad and tired and hungry. So she went back home. And there was a great big bowl of milk on the porch. Just waiting for her. Lucky kitten. So now that we've finished the book, I want you to, let's go back to what I asked you to think about before we read the book. Why couldn't Kitten get to the first bowl of milk that she saw? So pause the video again and either think to yourself or turn and talk to a family member. Why couldn't Kitten get the first bowl of milk that she saw? Okay, let's come back together again. So what I was thinking is that Kitten couldn't get the first bowl of milk that she saw because what she thought was the bowl of milk was actually the moon. And the moon is high up in the sky. So she couldn't get, she couldn't reach the moon. What she thought was the bowl of milk was the moon and she couldn't get it because it's high up in the sky. So I hope you enjoyed this Read Aloud, Kitten's First Full Moon by Kevin Hankies. Remember, if you want to listen to it again, you can always go back to the video and play it again. So keep working hard, first graders. We miss you all, and we'll see you again soon.